Hello everyone and welcome to my Werewolf Guide for the Elder Scrolls Online. My name is Tianlein and today we talk about what are the different ways to become a werewolf. An overview about the werewolf skill line, pro and cons being a werewolf and how you can cure yourself from lycanthropy. There are several ways how you can get infected with lycanthropy which will allow you to transform to a werewolf. This will unlock the werewolf skill line. The hardest way to become a werewolf is to try to get injured and infected by werewolf NPCs. These appear only at night and only in some specific locations. There is no need to kill the werewolf, you just have to get lucky that you will get infected with Sunny's Lupinus. To be honest, I think it is really hard to find these NPC werewolves. I used the add-on destinations, which shows you some werewolf locations on your map, but I was not really successful with that. I searched many nights with different moons for the werewolves but never found any on these locations. Of course, it could be that the nighttime was not perfect, or the moon, or that the werewolves got already killed. The only time I found werewolves was at the full moon and I found them totally off the suggested locations from the destinations add-on. I will show you now the maps with the destinations locations and with the locations I found. You can find in each faction a zone with contagious werewolves. For the even hard pact, you can find an NPC werewolves in the rift, between the Skull's Retreat Way Shrine and the Wrecked Hills Way Shrine. I found two werewolf spots west of the Honrich Tower. One spot is on the right side of the street, the werewolf sitting on the rocks. The other ones are nearby but on the left side of the street. Then I found not far away from the Nimitan Way Shrine a third werewolf spot. For the Admeri Dominion you have to travel to Reaper's March. As you can see on the map the werewolf NPCs are scattered between both Thring Smooth Way Shrine and the Willow Grove Way Shrine. For the Daggerfall Covenant the werewolves are located in Bankurai, between Trolls Tooththick and Januras Respite. I found here werewolves on the full moon at two locations. One spot was not far away from the Viridian Woods. The other location is just west from the Viridian Woods Way Shrine. If you find some more werewolf locations at night, please share them in the comments. Another way to become a werewolf is if you get bitten by another werewolf player at a werewolf ritual site. To bite another player you need to know the Blood Moon ability and you can only infect someone every 7 days. If you are already infected with vampirism, you cannot be infected with lycanthropy. Most people offer their service in the zone jet, in the rift, Reaper's March and Bankorai. Some give their gift for free, others want some gold for it. Also, you can ask your guilds if someone has a spare werewolf bite. After you got infected with Sarnis Lupinus by an NPC werewolf or by another player, you can find the NPC Toriki in Riften in the rift in Volkar in Reaper's March or on Evermore in Bankurai, which will offer you the quest Hercene's Gift. You have to complete this quest to gain access to the werewolf skill line and to be able to transform to a werewolf. I know you, brother. You're one of us even if you don't know it yet. Hercene calls you. His song is in your blood. Think about it. Run into a wild creature lately? Suffer any unusual injuries? Maybe you felt a little drowsy earlier, and then your senses grew sharper. I'm talking about Sainese Lupinus, her scene's gift, lycanthropy. Not infected, chosen, but we can't talk about this here, too public. Here, take the scent from my glove. Embrace your new gift and follow the scent to our pack master, Songamdir. He'll teach you the ways of the hunt, the ways of the pack. Look for the pack master. Just follow the scent. The pounding in your blood will tell you when you're close. You'll find him. I know it. He'll teach you the secrets of Hersin's gift. Toriki will send you to Hersin's shrine, where you will meet the pack master. He will open a portal to Hussein's realm. Well, what have we here? A poor lost pup looking for a pack. <laughs> you want to run with wolves? You got to learn a few things first. The same. 
Long before you were wailing in your mama's arms, Hercene gave me the keeping of his pack, and all the power that goes with it. I show pups like you how to make the most of his gift. I'm like a flea-bitten, shirtless priest of Hercene. You want to be a werewolf? Maybe you're a little crazy yourself. This portal will take you to Hercene's own hunting ground. If you're ready to hunt and kill and feed with your pack, then step through. I'll see you on the other side. Hercene gave me power beyond other werewolves when he chose me for his packmaster. I can control my form, and I am as much a wolf as I am a man. There you have to kneel before Hercene's altar, and he will speak to you. Heed me, pup. You stand now in my hunting. You desire power, but have you the will? The god of schemes has tasted your soul. You've come back tainted. Wrong. Hunt. Seek a tribute worthy of your pack. Bring it down, then howl for your brothers and sisters. If the pack accepts you, they will feed, and you will join them. Now, experience my power. You will get transformed to a werewolf without a time limit, as long as you are in Hussein's realm. Then the hunt for the pack begins. We have to hunt a large beast down. In my case it was a mammoth, but it can be a giant snake, a snow troll or a wamazu. After we call the pack to feed on the corpse, we have to go back to Hussein's shrine. We have to bow before the statue. And Hussein will grant his blessing, which will give you access to the Werewolf skill line and the Werewolf transformation. Do you accept my power? Once a pup, now a wolf. Once prey, now a hunter. The blood of the true hunter and the pack is now yours. They are your only family, your only allegiance. Hunt well. Of course, you can buy a werewolf bite in the crown store too. For 1500 crowns, you will get direct the werewolf skill line and the Hercene quests will be skipped. To advance in your werewolf skill line, you have to kill one in werewolf form. You need in total 225 kills to reach level 10 in your werewolf skill line. The normal werewolf skills can be leveled up like other skills if you place them on your skill bar and earning XP. You are not able to use them if you are outside of the werewolf form. The difference to other skill lines is that after you activated your werewolf ultimate, you can only use your werewolf skills. When you activate your werewolf ultimate, your skill bar will get replaced with your werewolf skills. I will show you now a short skill and morph overview, so you can get an idea what abilities you will get with the werewolf skill line. The ultimate werewolf transformation will transform you into a beast feeding up to 3 enemies for 4 seconds. While you are transformed, your light attacks cause enemies to bleed and your physical and spell resistance are increased. By slotted, your stamina recovery is increased by 15%. If you decide to choose the pack leader morph, your verbal full color will get white and you will summon 2 wolf companions. The werewolf berserker morph increases the damage of the light attack bleed and the werewolf full color changes to black. With Pounds, you can leap from 5 to 22 meters on an enemy. If the enemy is already set off, you will stun them. Brutal Pounds increases the damage to the target and you deal also damage to nearby enemies. Feral Pounds will add additional duration to your werewolf transformation if you pounce at least from 10 meters away. The Hercene's Bounty ability will heal you. Hercene's Rage will give you beside of the heal increased weapon damage over a short amount of time. The scene's fortitude will heal you and give you additional health over a short period of time. War will terrify up to 3 enemies 
fearing and setting them off balance. The bonus for Ferocious War Morph is that if an enemy is killed while they are feared, other nearby enemies are disorientated and set off balance. Wuzing War grants major brutality to you and nearby allies. With Piercing Hole, you deal physical damage and stun an enemy. The Hole of Despair Morph lets your allies activate the Feeding Frenzy synergy that increases their light and heavy attack damage. The Hole of Agony Morph deals 30% more damage to enemies that are feared. With Infectious Claws, you will hit enemies in front of you and deal physical and additional disease damage. The Claws of Anguish Morph inflicts enemies with Major Defile, reducing their healing received by 30%. Claws of Life heals you for 50% of the disease damage done. Then we have 6 passive skills. All of these skills only work while you are in verbal form. Pursuit increases the stamina your heavy attacks restore. Devour allows you to devour corpses to increase the duration of your werewolf transformation. Blood Rage increases the duration of your werewolf transformation every time you take damage. Blood Moon allows you to infect another player with lycanthropy once every 7 days by returning to the werewolf ritual site. Players already infected by vampirism cannot be infected with lycanthropy. Savage Strength increases your weapon damage. Call of the Pack reduces the cost of remaining in your werewolf transformation for each transformed werewolf in your group, including yourself. If you don't want to be any more a werewolf or you got infected by accident from an NPC, you can of course find a cure. To cure your lycanthropy, seek out a prelate Sabinus in the Mage's Guild Hall in Riften, Evermore or Walker. You will be requested to donate a small amount of gold before being instantly cured. If you are cured of lycanthropy, any skill points you invested in it will not be returned. To get the skill points back, you must visit a rededication shrine before you go to the priest of Archai to the cure. Last but not least, we talk about the pros and cons of being a werewolf. With lycanthropy, you get some bonuses while you are in werewolf form. As you can see, you will get a lot more stamina. Then your physical resistance and spell resistance is increased too. And your sprinting speed is also increased. During the transformation, you retain buffs, passive skills from other skill lines and benefits of equipped weapons and armor. Also, you can end the werewolf transformation at will by using the transformation skill a second time. And you have extra 15% stamina recovery for having the werewolf ultimate slotted. But you receive 25% more damage from poison attacks and if you are a PvP player, keep in mind that other players can deal with the fighter skill abilities extra damage to you if they have the skill tracker passive skill. Another disadvantage is the limited time on a transformation, but that you can increase with skills and passives of the werewolf skill line. Hopefully I could answer all your questions about werewolves in the Elder Scrolls Online. It would be wonderful if you subscribe, like or leave me a comment. Have a nice day and until next time, tschüss!